it is fitting that today, October the 9th, the Day of Atonement or the Feast of Atonement for 2019, it is fitting that we have come to Ezekiel chapter 34. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds, the shepherds of Israel, the spiritual leaders of Israel. It, I guess shepherds could also include the physical leaders, the political leaders, but especially the spiritual leaders. Prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God unto the shepherds of Israel. What do you feed yourselves? Should you not, as shepherds, feed the flock? You eat the fat, and you clothe yourself with wool. You kill them that are fed, and you feed not the flock. The diseased you have not strengthened, neither have you healed that which was sick, neither have you bound up that which was broken. Neither have you brought again that which was driven away, neither have you sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty you have ruled them. And there's different ways of using force and cruelty. You can rule people by putting on a good show, having your service, church services as entertainment having this and that and flashy lights and sound and bands and whatever, whatever, just to make it an entertainment hour or two. Or you can have just smooth talk about spiritual things. And isn't it good to know the Lord, brothers? And you will be blessed. Oh, yes. And just have it so nice and smooth and talk that you just lull people to sleep. That's a, two ways of ruling people with cruelty. Verse 5, And they were scattered. Yes, Israel, the people of Israel and Judah, you people of the Jewish population of the world and the state of Israel, you people of Norway, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, France, Holland, Belgium, the Anglo-Saxon people of the British Commonwealth and the United States of America, you people are the literal descendants of the ten tribe house of Israel. This prophecy is going to you and to your shepherds that you have leading you in your churches. You will be scattered, and part of that scattering is going to be the fault of and on the shoulders of your shepherds. Verse 6, My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yes, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth. This is what will happen at the end time to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. And none did search or seek them. Verse 7, Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, surely, because my sheep became a prey, my flock became food to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherds search out my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. What people will do for a paycheck? How people will turn away from the truth of God, from preaching the truth of God, because of a paycheck. Feed themselves. God says you should be feeding my flock first. Verse 9. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their hands. And when the house of Israel and the house of Judah goes into their end time captivity, they will be delivered from the shepherds, from the ministers that they supposedly have been looking to for guidance from the word of God. They will be delivered from them. 
Yes, God says, I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be food for them. What is the main, the main parts of what the shepherds of Israel should be doing? I'm going to read a number of verses. This is not all of them by any means. There are many, many, many more. Malachi, the second chapter. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yes, I will curse them, and curse them already, and we are being cursed. The physical blessings that we have in these lands of ours, in most of the Western nations of the Western world that are the house of Israel, our physical blessings are coming under destruction. We see it every week, every month, every year, through all kinds of physical calamities that are coming upon us. Yes, I will curse your blessings. Yes, I have cursed them already, because you do not lay it to heart. Verse 4, And you shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, says the Lord of hosts. My covenant is with him of life and peace. I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he did fear me. Yes, ancient Levi. And I was, and he was afraid before my name, in a right and proper way, being afraid. The law of truth was in his mouth, and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity, and did turn many away from iniquity, from sin, from unrighteousness. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But you are departed out of the way. You have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people. According as you have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. How many are today preaching every single commandment of God? The Ten Commandments, which is the basic outline of all of the commandments of God. How many are teaching those commandments today? How many are teaching the Fourth Commandment? And how many are not? And how many are teaching the commandment, you shall not commit adultery, which is the commandment to do with sexuality? And how many are teaching all of that that is given in the word of God regarding sexuality? That fornication, sex before marriage is sin. That adultery in marriage is sin. That practicing homosexuality, lesbianism is sin. That same-sex marriage is sin. That transgender and turning into another sex because of your own volition and your own will and you just want to, is sin. How many are teaching all of that? How many are teaching to serve God in every way? How many know where their traditions that they keep have come from? How many are diligently searching and seeking to know the will and the way of the Lord and checking out all of the other things that they've maybe grown up just taking for granted and believing. Many of those things, you can find out the truth about them on my website, keithhunt.com. But the Lord says here that the minister of God must not be partial in the law. And Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew Four verse four, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. How many are teaching that to their congregation today, that are teaching that they should be serving and reading all of God's word from Genesis to Revelation and putting their life in the ways and the will of the Lord. The only way that you can know the will of the Lord, the ways of the Lord, what is righteous in his sight. 
the way that he wants you to live is by reading his word and following his instructions. How many of your ministers are teaching that today? They should be. They should be. There are many things that the minister of the Lord should be teaching. We'll look at more of them next time.